This is my friend Marina. This is her Triumph Street Twin. And I'm going right here for a ride on the back. Pegs down. Alrighty, are you prepared? You scared? I have not mounted a... Oh, sorry. We already smashed into each other. All right, visors down. We are ready. All right, everybody. Thanks for stopping by. I do another video today. Look at this view. We are on the back of my friend's Triumph Street Twin. <laughs> and we are roaming around the streets of Philadelphia. In a minute, I'm going to tell you why I'm on the back of this bike and how we got into this situation. But anyways, this has got to be quite the different view for everybody in there. Usually you guys see me on my Harley Sportster Iron 1200 or my 2022 Harley Davidson Street Bob. So we got a different second passenger point of view right now. <laughs> Pretty cool running down Broad Street, taking a look at City Hall, but man, I have not been on the back of a bike in a while. Maybe, how old am I? Two decades maybe? I think the last time I was on the back of a bike, I was probably a teenager on the back of my dad's Harley Lowrider. I used to ride around with him all the time on that thing. Man, it's such a different experience. You really gotta trust that person driving. <laughs> oh! 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 So how did we find ourselves in this two up position today? Well, I was sitting around at work and my good pal Morena here says she is going to take her bike out for a ride and I was thinking about the same, but then I started to realize, I started looking at the weather for kind of the rest of the next cup coming weeks. And I was like, you know what? It's looking like some pretty consistently good 60s there. Why not head down to South Philly and go ahead and pick up my 2022 Harley Street Bob out of storage? Because honestly, you guys have probably heard me say before, prior to some of my other videos, we barely even had any winter here in Philly this year. So I'm thinking it's just about time to go ahead and pick up the street bob. That's where we're headed today. We're headed down to South Philly. She was kind enough to go ahead and give me a ride on the back of the Triumph Street Twin to we're gonna go pick up the street bob. And of course, we're taking the nice little uh, center city route around City Hall where everybody can see us here. Everybody can see me on the back of the bike, no problem. Oh, we got a little scooter back there. There we go. Nothing wrong with a little two up lane splitting going on there. Cut to the front of the line. My bike hasn't clicked in like months. And now that you're on it, it's clicked. Uh oh. Like you think it's the extra weight? I think it's the weight. <laughs> you call me fat? No, 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 no. <laughs> Man, kind of not bad being on the back. You just kind of get to take in the sights and sounds. Let somebody else drive and navigate, but no, I'm just kidding. Maybe just a one-time thing here. I'd probably ride on the back with some other people, maybe. Obviously love riding my own bikes. All right, so the big question, what is it like being on the back of this thing? Well, not too bad. You know, you get a passenger on this thing. It is a peppy little 900cc bike, Triumph Street Twin again. For a passenger, you're gonna have some pretty bent knees. That's the riding position, but we got a plenty of room on the back of the seat here. It's pretty comfy. So we just went over some bumps there. I would venture to say this is definitely probably more comfortable than being on the back of my Sportster, even with the upgraded suspension. That thing just clangs into all these bumps and stuff. I've had some passengers on the back of the Sportster and I don't think it is that enjoyable of an experience, if I'm being honest. But this bench seat, pretty cushy, you know, plenty of space on the pegs for your feet. When I got the idea to come pick this up today, I was thinking maybe just like take an Uber or something down, but I'm like, why not ride on the back of a uh, Triumph Street Twin, you know? Much more enjoyable. <laughs> but man, I'm definitely excited to pick up the Street Bob. It's been in there from about mid-December. We're in uh, about mid-March now. Oh, we just got that. My man on the scooter just got cut off. Uh 
Uh oh. What is going on here? That's one of the interesting things about putting another uh, person on the back of your bike. It really changes the dynamic of the handling and everything. Yeah, like I was saying, having a passenger really kind of always changes that dynamic a little bit. Especially on some of the zippier, smaller bikes like this. You get so used to whipping these things around town, juking, diving, cutting through traffic and stuff like that. That extra added weight changes acceleration, braking. I know when I have a passenger, sometimes you just got to be a little more cautious on how that thing operates, you know? So anyways, the place that we're actually headed down to, like I said, down in South Philly, is where you guys saw me store my bike earlier in the year with HCG Moto, the guys over there. They've got their storage space going on. That's where the bike is. So huge shout out to them for letting me store the bike there. I'm excited to see what they have going on for 2023. Obviously, they got the fleet of bikes that they rent out as well. They've got the Speed Twin. They got a Triumph Tiger. They got a Ducati Street Fighter, I think it is in there. And then, of course, I think they're going to be changing up the fleet a little bit for 2023. So keep an eye out for that. If you're in the Philly area, go down, rent a bike from those guys, take it out, see how you like it. Hopefully I'll be able to get on some of the other varieties of bikes they got going on this year too. No. What is happening? This guy is literally not moving. Hit him with the horn. Yeah. Oh my god, what is he doing? He doesn't know where he's going. He makes his first time. First time driving? I remember my first time. <laughs> oh my god. This is cool, I'm getting really good balance practice. <laughs> and now he goes back. Yo, this guy is wild. He's not moving. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, here we go. Oh, now we're picking up some speed. So we are getting closer to our destination now. Everything went pretty smooth so far. Pretty clean ride. Pretty good experience. Much cooler than a car, right? Much cooler than Uber and down here. But we will check back in once we get over to the destination, pick up the street, Bob. Do I get off first? No, wait for me. Now wait, what? Now you're good. Now go for I get off now? Yeah. Get off that. <laughs> Get the fuck off that no, oh my god. Whew. We made it. Alright, so we just hopped off. We made it safely to the destination. How was I as a passenger? Um, Eric was great. The truck in front of us was f awful. The truck was a little slow. <laughs> would you ride with me on the back again? Of course. Anytime. <laughs> Anytime. I would say uh I would say you were a good driver. It, it, uh, we made it here safe. We went about 10 miles an hour because we were stuck behind that yeah. truck. Yeah. <laughs> I was comfortable on the back. Street Twin looks like a good ride for two up, so there you have it. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. That was some two up city riding on the Triumph Street Twin. Now, like I said, we are down where I'm gonna pick up the 2022 Street Bob. That's gonna be the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that one. Next video is gonna be picking up that bike. Can't wait to grab it. So as always, thanks for stopping by. If you like anything we got going on here, make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, be a friend, tell a friend, tell them to stop by. Check out everything we got going on motorcycle related in Philadelphia. And as always, make sure you ride safe out there. It's the Moto John. We'll see you all on down the road. Peace.